have a number of sessions on modern portfolio theory. We have a number of sessions on performance measurement and attribution. We have a session on behavioral finance. So in behavioral finance, for example, we take the basic principles of modern portfolio theory, but in our own mind, we know that a lot of people are irrational, so we talk about, hey, how do their rationalities arise and what can be done about it? We have uh, sessions on investment strategy and also uh, sessions on the economic outlook and what that does to our predictions of uh, returns in different asset classes going forward. So that's the investment overview. And then we attack the specific functional areas of asset allocation. For example, we have a few sessions on stocks. We have a few sessions on bonds. We have a few sessions on options and futures. And then we also go into other alternatives, real estate, commodities, hedge funds, private equity, and also a session on the difference in uh, international and asset classes and domestic asset classes. We talk about modern portfolio theory. Well, once they get through that block of a few sessions on MPT, they're ready to work with it in the real world. Performance measurement, the same thing. Once we teach them how to use the Sharpe ratio, the trainer ratio, they have a new way of evaluating managers that they never had before. When you think about uh, behavioral finance, again, they have understanding into why people are irrational and what can be done to reduce that irrationality as much as possible. And then when you look at a number of different topics, once you've taken uh, you may know nothing about alternatives, but once you've heard the different sessions on private equity, on hedge funds, on real estate, on options and futures, you pretty much know you're ready to go using that material.